goodness with face, pat, and tiz. So we're going to talk about it real quick, guys. Dave Chappelle is a genius. What did you guys think of it? Um, yeah, let's just start there. What is your, what are just your overall thoughts? Your, like, what do you think of it? That shit was funny, nigga. I like it. <laughs> Man. Man, like he started it. off. This is the funny thing about Chappelle. He can make whack jokes sound funny. Like, because when he, he threw me off when he was like, I'm going to make me a, a movie called Space Jude. See, I got it. So, like, I got it. But I was like, dog, you knew where this Nobody else would have pulled that off, though. Yeah, no one else would have pulled that off. He threw that out there. He knew it was a bad joke. He just threw it out there because he's Chappelle. I can do it. I won't. That's when you know you're a master of your craft, when you start doing tricks and shit. And you start Mm -hmm. just, you know, oh, fuck it. Do what I want to do up here. That's an MC. If mm-hmm. Chappelle was a rapper, he would be a master MC. I, I think oh, yeah. Chappelle, he definitely knows about MC. And so, bruh, he's the only stand up comedian <clears throat> I've seen personally that can stand in one spot. Like, he don't walk back and forth. He's in one spot, foot up on the speaker, smoking one cigarette, maybe. And will have you riveted. Like, I was literally like, the whole show. Mm-hmm. Now, one time did I, like, look away. Like, it was a point, like, me and the wife was watching. And usually, like, we'll watch comedy specials. And we be, you know, it'll make you laugh. And then you talk about maybe the joke. Or you say, you know, it's a-. we was just both just quiet, mm-hmm. laughing, but you didn't want to miss the next piece because you yeah. didn't know how with Chappelle, he's unique in taking a piece of one joke and tying it into something like seven jokes later, and you don't even like even oh, get it. Shit. So you gotta stick with him. Yeah. So he's an man. MC when it comes to this comedian and stuff. Like he's really an MC when it comes to this comedian stuff. I mean, he can. Like, it's just like you say, like, you know how you listen to a rhyme or whatever, and you've listened to it a million times before, and this 15th time you listen to it, you catch something else that you ain't catch before, and it made mm-hmm. something else make sense? Right. That's Chappelle right there. Like, you're just not going to expect what's coming up. And here's the question. Is Chappelle cancel proof? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's the question. Because last night, <clears throat> or oh, when I watched it, he pissed off the LGBTQ community, which is one of the largest communities that will, they may have their inner bickering like all groups, but they will ride for each other. Like, they don't play when they feel offended. And the fact that he ain't got canceled yet, and this is his second straight special where he's directly targeting the hypocrisies and the fallacies in their logic. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he wasn't canceled. So, yes, I think he is cancel proof. And I think he's also proof of, well, we'll get into the things. Uh, I, I want to just get into the things he presented, but let's just start there with the LGBTQ shit. He's, He's so genius in the way he talks about the shit that everybody want to say, but he says it in a way that still really, when you get to the meat and potatoes, what he's saying, it's not, I'm offending anybody. He's literally just saying like, so y'all do that? How do you, like, why? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Have y'all ever thought about how crazy some of this stuff is? And he never focuses on their actual sexuality. Yeah. He focuses on the behaviors and actions that they display in public the non-accountability there you go and i think that's the genius part because you can have any dialogue as long as you're not attacking the person you're attacking the structure that they're setting up so like you can attack my ideas 
like the 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 the, the things that I spot out, the, the the things that I stand on. But you can't attack me. And like them people's sexuality, them. they feel like that's them. And the fact that he doesn't attack, like I haven't heard him say anything that would make me think that he hates them. I do think that he thinks that they're funny. And that's okay, because you're a comedian. You're supposed to think people are funny. He thinks black people are funny. He thinks white people are funny. He thinks Asian people are funny. He thinks handicapped people are funny. He thinks uh, everybody funny. And I love how he, I think when you're an equal opportunist, I think he's proven that you can, as long as you treat every to everybody the same, you don't like show favoritism to one thing. I think you can get away with finding the humor in everything. I also think he wins because he's funny. Because he could say that yeah. same shit. And if the joke won't funny, he would get no killed for real. No one yeah. would laugh. But I think I, it's I so hilarious. Say, it's like it's damn, that shit is funny though. Um, I will say huh, with him, he just like it, it basically what he just said, man. You can you can kill this. It's crazy because it, he's defending the baby, but at the same time, he's not defending the baby. Like, yeah. he's he's setting a, the baby up to be accountable for something or whatever. The funny part about it, it, it is, is, though, that'd be the funny <clears throat> shit. The shock value shit or the name that he puts in there don't even be what the joke was about. That the yeah, baby that joke won't even about the baby. It was about the fact that black lives and a black black people being offended or black people being killed is less offensive to the world than him making a comment about the LGBTQ community. Exactly. He was saying, like, why is their movement more valuable than this one? Equal, okay, cool. But why does it have to, well, how do you get to place yours above that? Why is it that society had mm -hmm. less outrage for somebody getting murdered than they did for the baby saying some words? Because like, that's the type, that's what he was attacking <laughs> in the joke. So, like, the He's funny part is, Dumb people need to stop commenting and getting outraged because you got to at least understand the joke to, if you're going to critique. It. And I, I rarely hear those people critiquing. They just, you know? they just proving him right. Because half the people, I was, I was saying all kinds of stuff like the LGB, I was seeing all kinds of think pieces and stuff like that. And when I read it, I was like, you did not look at this at all. You just heard what somebody else saw. You heard the sound bite or heard somebody else's talking point and went with I'm going to tell you what happened. Did y'all see those two white ladies, the two big round head white ladies right there in the middle? Yo! Of the I thought I was... Ball. Okay. See, I knew it was... No, no, nah, nah, you ain't the only one. They were there mad as heck. Probably. Didn't crack a smile. <clears throat> they were the... Um, yeah, they probably um, were just spies and they couldn't wait. And they ain't listen to nothing, not a dang thing. But you know what? You know what's the, the joke's on them? Because they paid tickets to see him so they could tell a joke about him. That's right. And and you had to sit through it and eat that. And Dave Chappelle has the last laugh. Because nobody... Either way, they still can't cancel him because this is his last one. He went out with a bang. Well, cancel me so, then. I'm going to my farm <laughs> in Ohio and we're going to chill. Yeah. Cancel? What do you mean? With, I don't even want to be he going, here. He's going back to Ohio to hang with the dirty food white woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's strippies. Man, when that nigga said that shit, the first thing I thought of was that video uh, face that me put too. on the... Uh, Yo. When that, when that girl foot was black, like me, me black. Too. On the oh, live show? Oh, man. I, yes, bro. I, I, I laughed. Sweet. Oh, my God. I laughed so hard. But I'm going to tell y'all, the joke of the <laughs> night for me yeah, what was y'all joke of the night? For me, it was the Clifford, the big black, the giant black nigga. That was the sneak, the sneak one on mm. the low. Man, Clifford. it's just, I can't, I can't say it's a joke of the night, man, because. I don't have carpet, sir. 
I have hardwood floors. That was it. That was it. Daphne. It hit. That hit different ways. That's a that's the great thing about that this. was so smart. Because this, you didn't just laugh. You went through a whole gambit of emotions. He made you sad, mad, enraged. Made you like, think. All of that. And at the end of the day, made you laugh about it. And I actually saw the tweet that Daphne actually wrote. They they posted it up online. They actually showed the oh, wow. tweet that Daphne actually wrote. I'm about to I'm gonna see if I can find it, but it's exactly what he said. So that just backs him up. And I, I like anytime they have these long think pieces about it, and I read some of them, pretty much. Mm-hmm. It sounds like they did not. They did not listen to nothing at all. And it just proved him right the whole time. Like pretty much. They they just they're proving him the fuck right. They're not even listening to nothing. And that's what happens when you have people that don't take accountability for for it. They'll find something else and blow that up. So no everybody will ignore the accountability. He wasn't even like dissing the LGBT community. And he says it out loud who he's dissing the whole, his whole career is white people. It is the white people that like to pick up minority like it's a trend so they can have an excuse. To yeah, let's be specific. It. It's not all white people. It's, it's not all specific white specific people. It's specific type that pick up and try to be a part of minority trends or whatever, so they can feel like they have a right. The people who made the tick the black TikTok a strike, that type, that type, those type, those who write on the coattails because them white niggas. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like you said. As soon as soon as stuff got real, and he got it, and a dude got in his face or whatever, whatnot. What happened? He turned tail, called the police. And knowing what police would do to a black person. Yeah. That's that's my that's my thing. Like you know what they do or whatever. And and you can act like and fake even the people that deny what the police do know what they do. That's why they're yeah. quick to defend them because they know if I need a nigga killed, I can always call the police. Facts. Facts. So that shit was awesome. He's a genius. Like it we was a good we got commentary, protect, and I definitely we got to protect Dave Chappelle. And he gave me a topic. Um, I don't know what's gonna be next week or the week after that, but I definitely got a topic from the show from from his special that for us to delve into and kind of pick apart. So, shout out to Chappelle. If you have not seen the Brio's newest uh, magnum opus, please go check it out. It's called The Closer. Um, and also check out the trailer with him and Morgan Freeman. It was just a great trailer. It was amazing. Um, but Chappelle outdid himself again. 